Hey everyone, it's Sarah. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some tips on how you can deal with those rude family members that you're gonna encounter whenever you're working as a nurse. So let's get started. It's inevitable that whenever you start working as a new nurse, you are going to encounter rude family members. And these people can make your job a lot harder and add to the stress of it. And the thing is, is whenever you're in nursing school, you're not really taught how to deal with these situations. It's something that you have to learn on the job whenever you actually get your job and actually have to go through it. So um, these are some tips that I wanna give you, especially new nurses, before you do have to encounter this situation because it is going to happen. And just um, give you an idea of how you can deal with it and make it a lot easier. When dealing with family members that are being rude to you. One thing I have found that's helpful is that I try to step back and I try to analyze, okay, why is this person, you know, being rude and hard to deal with? Because usually there is a reason for that. And the top three reasons I have seen is that number one, of course, they are just very stressed about what is occurring because usually when someone's admitted to the hospital it's unexpected they don't know what's going on and they're just very stressed about it another thing is the financial burden insurance dealing with that what's going to happen after this hospitalization is this person going to be able to go home or are they going to have to go to a long-term living care facility all those things are up in the air so that's stressful and then another thing is that the person may have had bad experiences in the past. Maybe, you know, they've been in the hospital for like three or four days. You're like the fifth or sixth nurse they've had and previous experiences haven't been that great. So they don't really trust you. And so they're defensive. But regardless, whenever a family member is stressed, that causes them to lose their filter where they may normally say things and act in certain ways where they normally wouldn't if they weren't under those stressful situations. So I always try to apply that and think about, okay, what is this person going through? Now, whenever you do encounter that rude family member that is just making your job a lot harder, I have found that one of the absolute worst things you can do in response to their behavior is is actually antagonize them or be rude back but you know sometimes you just want to be rude back because the things that they say or do is so uncalled for but as the old proverb says a soft answer turns away wrath and many times that's very true because some people if you're rude back to them after they're being rude to you they will actually make it their mission to get you in trouble or they could even become violent. For instance, let me share this story with you. Now this happened on a unit I was working and actually happened on the previous shift. So it was night shift and I was coming in for day shift and um, I heard about the story. So what had happened was that during night shift, they were getting bombarded with lots of admissions. And if you've worked any time as a nurse or in healthcare, whenever you're getting a lot of new admissions, it gets really intense and stressful at times. So um, what happened was that the family member had already arrived to that patient's room and was waiting on the patient to come up. But it turns out they actually moved that patient to another floor of the hospital. So whenever the charge nurse got word of that, the, she had said something similar to this. I don't think this is the exact statement, but it was something like, oh, we dodged a bullet on that one. And whenever this nurse made this comment, it's not that she's saying it, oh, I'm so glad we're not getting this specific patient to this room. She's saying it because we have all these patients we've just submitted. This gives us some breathing room so we can get these patients admitted. So I'm glad they moved them to the other floor. But anyways, this family member had heard that statement. And we have had that family member on the floor before with that patient. And they were hard to deal with during that time, but came up, to the charge nurse and verbally attacked the nurse and actually slapped her across the face over that type of comment. So, you know, that charge nurse is an excellent nurse and just such a sweet, awesome person. And she would never say something like that to someone being mean. And it, it's just crazy. And that just proves that you have to watch what you say, especially to people who have a history of being difficult to work with or being rude. 
So now let's talk about some things that you can do whenever you are dealing with rude family members. So one thing that you wanna do is you want to get off on the right foot with not only your patient, but their family members as well. So whenever you go in that room to meet your patient, you wanna make sure that you acknowledge everyone in that room, that you smile, you look them in the eye and you ask them how they're doing and just be friendly. Another thing that you can do is that you can ask that family member if they need anything because a lot of times on your unit, you'll have a galley area where you could get that family member some coffee or a drink or a little snack or something like that. And that really helps a lot of times that family member feel a little bit better because chances are they are a little hungry and um, thirsty. Now, another thing that you can do that I have found really helps, but you have to use some discretion with this one, is ask that family member if they have any questions, questions about what's going on. But you have to make sure that before you answer their questions that you're allowed to do so because some patients, just because they have certain family members with them, doesn't necessarily mean that patient wants their information shared with those family members. So sometimes you can't answer those questions because we have privacy laws and patients are protected by HIPAA. So you wanna make sure you're following your hospital's protocols before you dive into that part of that tip. So use this tip with discretion. So a lot of times in my personal experience as a nurse, I have found that Sometimes whenever a patient's family member is being rude is because they feel like they don't know what's going on with their family member. They don't understand what we're doing. They feel like, you know, no one's told them anything. And I've heard that so many times. No one has told me anything about what's going on. So if you do have that permission to share and you are able to share per your patient's um, request, you can set that family member down and go over the plan of care for this patient, what we're doing with this patient, what testing they're gonna have done, what their labs look like, all of that stuff. And I have found whenever I have done that with family members who are being rude and difficult to work with, whenever I've taken the time to do that, they have turned completely around. They feel so much more comfortable and they feel part of that patient's care and they're no longer really rude anymore. So with all of that said about family members, one thing I wanna point out about them is that they can actually be a huge asset to you as a nurse. Not only can they help provide valuable information to you about the patient so you can that patient can get better care but they can help you out in so many ways so it's really important you do try to build a good rapport with them because i have had family members help me with patients you know move the patients in the bed where i didn't have to get someone else to help me or they've helped that patient back and forth to the bathroom given them baths or even have came out and said, hey, I wanna change this bed for you. Um, where's the linen so I can get it and change it? And you give them the linen and they change the bed, which as a nurse, that saves you so much time. So really try to take time and build that rapport with those family members because they can be awesome. So those are some strategies that you can hopefully implement for yourself whenever you are dealing with rude family members and how to build a good rapport with them. Now, in some cases, there are gonna be situations where you can do nothing to build that good rapport with that family member. They are just rude, that's just who they are. So in those situations, I have encountered those. What you have to do is you have to just grit your teeth and bear it and be kind and just keep going. And if it gets so bad where maybe they're just being really rude or just it could escalate beyond that, you want to make sure that you are documenting and that you're taking that to your charge nurse and seeing what you need to do to make sure that, you know, you're covering yourself and how you're responding to that and maybe even go to your nurse manager. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to deal with rude family members. Now, I have a whole playlist that you can access where I give you new nurse tips. So if you are a new nurse, you may want to check out that video. You can access the link in the YouTube description or in the first comment. And thank you so much for watching.